What up, this is Rama Screen. I'm covering AFI Film Festival this week, and one of the films that I saw was Thelma, this lovely, wonderful drama that has romance, mystery, and superpower, apparently. <laughs> so I've spoken with the director, Joachim. Now I'm here with the screenwriter, Eskel. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Doing good, sir. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Now, um, talk a bit about the process of coming up with this story about coming of age and also about coming out. What, what what's the inspiration? Well, the inspiration came from many places actually. Uh, first, it was just an idea of, of making a movie that was like really cinematic and visual. I mean, me and Joachim will be making these kind of intimate dramas, and here we wanted to start with something like uh, like nightmarish images about anxieties and like some striking visuals. And and uh, but but working with that, we we came back quite soon to like the drama part that we I guess that's what interests us uh, the most and uh, and uh, it became a story about repression and uh, and and uh, suppressing things and the way they burst out so it became also a story about suppressed feelings mm -hmm. suppressed powers and suppressed sexuality so that's that's uh, I guess the way we 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 started wanting to make this uh, visual kind of horror film and we ended up making more of an intimate but supernatural drama about yeah. coming out yeah. I like it I really did like it now so uh, as far as uh, you and Joachim are frequent collaborators right you've worked before in the past so talk a bit about that process what happens if there's disagreements <laughs> well Joachim and I we, we, we're also best friends I mean we met as teenagers and started making short films together and uh, so so when we start working on something it's like when we're writing together uh it's not like he ever says i'm the director so it has to be this way we always end up agreeing on everything but that also means that we quarrel you know that uh, it's never like uh, no you uh, you shut your mouth i'm director it's going to be like this it's like uh we 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 fight and we disagree and we agree uh, until we agree and then we make something uh, and then he goes off and, and directs and, and and makes his own decisions. And uh, but uh, but while we're writing, we're we're equal partners. And uh, and uh, because we both care so much, of course, there's some some heated discussions. But uh, but in all all in good faith. Yeah. But uh, the final result is exactly what you and Joachim envision, or there were some changes on um, drafts along the way. There's always changes, and I, I, I'm I, the first draft of it was much more of a horror film than the end result because we became more and more subtle as we uh, kept uh, working on it. And uh, also, making a film is a process. It's also always like uh, uh, compromises, uh, new ideas coming along. So uh, the end result is quite close to the script. Maybe of the four films we made, the one that's closest to the script but it's still there's been been changes and, and and the actors bring so much that you couldn't possibly have foreseen in the writing so now for my fans who are aspiring screenwriters out there can you talk a bit about because one of the things that, are, that fascinated about, about about Thelma is the tone is there's some quiet moments there's a lot of quiet moments but there's subtle suspense not like you know horror suspense and then you bring it all back again to uh something that's more grounded that's impressive when i watch the film how do you how do you accomplish that as a writer well i i think that uh I, i'm very inspired by american cinema and hitchcock and and there's some things about suspense that i feel like, like that was a classic american art form uh that's been a bit lost now because all the exciting movies they're so hectic yes. and i feel for building suspense you need uh, silence you need uh, almost like dead moments yes. because that's when uh, the sense of foreboding begins and you uh, and anxieties and thinking about something and you need contrast you need to build slowly for things to have real impact and if you see hitchcock's movies they're so effectful and some of them are even horror films but they when they're slow, they're slow because you need that time to build. Yes. Mm. Now, uh, talk a bit about these two, these two lovely ladies, uh, Ailey and Kaya. I hope I pronounced that correctly. They're just wonderful. I mean, I'm, I, I'm sure the casting came afterwards, but when you wrote it, I mean, and then you see it on the screen, it's like, oh man, they're actually what I had in mind. They're, those girls really tap into it. Well, they they're so amazing, both yeah. of them, and and it was uh, I I 
I'm a kind of a sounding board for Joachim during casting. He shows me uh, tapes of the uh, actors he finds interesting, and it was just obvious seeing Kaya and Ailey together that they, they they had so much chemistry. I mean, they were perfect, and uh, and uh, all, always we have some ideas that have to be adjusted during casting. Mm -hmm. For instance, we uh, Ailey uh, was maybe too pretty. Uh, uh, we we maybe had uh, written it for someone that had a more like not like the prettiest girl in the class kind of look that she has. But she had the perfect another thing that was important for the character, which was kind of the the good girl, the good Christian girl. Uh, she really had that, and she was just so amazing during the auditions. She just uh, nailed it. So we just uh, uh, we had always adjust a little bit the characters uh, from who we see in uh, doing the best work in the auditions. Right. Now um, I want to ask you because I asked Joachim this about the theme because. We're in 2017. You would think that, you know, coming out or same same gender relationship is as normal as Tuesday, but there's always conflict, you know, here and there. How is it in Nor Norwegian culture when it comes to that, and what's the significance of bringing this theme through Thelma? Well, it is. Uh, you know, I'm from Oslo, Joachim as well. We're from like liberal uh, environments where, where like uh, uh, a gay couple or gay marriage is not controversial at all. But I guess it's the same in the States that when you remove yourself a little bit from the big cities, you, you meet those very, very reactionary views on, on, uh, on homosexuality. And in Norway, we have this kind of Bible belt that I know you have mm -hmm. as well in, in the US and there people have a really hard time coming out and it's uh, uh, I, it's still a relevant issue I mean it's not like that's I wish that was like old hat and, and everyone could just be who they are and and uh, but it, it's not like that unfortunately so it, it felt it still felt like a, a, a relevant thing and it's all also uh, it's it's a human thing of just like if you're homosexual or not, it just feels that you need some kind of courage to be who you are and and uh, and impose that on the world and maybe not be who your parents want you to be, which is, uh, uh, I mean, it's just a part of being a human, I guess. So is your next writing project will have a, a social commentary agenda as well? I, I, we never start out with uh, a social commentary, and uh, so that's something that maybe just evolves naturally. Uh, what we want to do is just make something that means something to us, and uh, and uh, we start out wanting to make the movie that we would like to see in the cinema, uh, and uh, and uh, if that turns out to have some sort of social commentary to it uh, that that's great but it's uh we don't start out wanting to make like a i'd say important message movie it's uh it's the movie making comes first and the themes sort of sneak in there and hopefully they resonate as i'm winding down to my final question so i gotta ask um because you mentioned earlier that you know the, the suspense that alfred hitchcock used to have hollywood doesn't seem to have anymore these days or not, uh, less and less how do you, from a Norwegian filmmaker standpoint, you know, view us Hollywood industry, and will we ever come back to uh, the the that quality of storytelling again, or are we lost now in prequels, sequels, and reboots? That's a good question. I I enjoy a good Marvel film as much as anyone, and I, I feel that they they, but they seem to have taken over like mainstream cinema, and I, I'm I'm kind of sad that uh, American cinema don't have a place in the mainstream anymore for like adult. Uh, movies uh, with like dramas. I mean, they don't make that anymore. And and you used to be so great at it. You know, you made the best ones. So I'm I'm uh, a bit sad about that. But then again, you you making interesting television and uh, and uh, and there's uh, stuff happening. So I'm uh, there's some really interesting filmmakers in the U.S. So I'm I'm I haven't given you up. I still watch your movies. Thank you so Last question, if I may. Again, for my fans who are aspiring screenwriters. What's your uh, advice to them, you know, uh, being a, a successful screenwriter yourself? Well, I, I uh, feel that the advice I always give to people is to be a little bit naive. Don't try to be professional in the beginning. Just uh, don't read those uh, screenplay manuals and try to make like a professional screenplay. Try to just put your heart on the page and create material. And maybe that won't be perfectly structured, but 
that will make it original as well. That will make it stand out. If you start out trying to just make please like studio people or industry insiders, you're gonna make something very boring. So do 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 it personal, make it personal, uh, put your ideas on on the page, and maybe you'll make some mistakes, but you'll probably get more noticed than if you just be like a good professional screenwriter before you even started. I see. Well, that's a sound advice, and thank you so much, sir. Congratulations on Thelma. <laughs>